All right, so the trade show is right around the corner, August 24th, my channel, 8 p.m. I started to put a box together of stuff for the trade show. I got some stuff there, some games there. I got some consoles right there. So let's just get into this and see what I'm bringing to the trade show. All right, so let's get this started. Got a couple uh, Game Boys here. Got the lime green. This one has the battery compartment. Very clean, very nice condition. Uh, does need a speaker replacement. So if you want to trade for that and you know how to fix that, cool. If not, I'll probably just put it back in the box and maybe fix it this year. Uh, we got the atomic purple. You can see the stickers are starting to go on that one, but that one's tested, working nicely. Uh, the teal blue one also has the battery compartment. Uh, tested and working nicely. The Glacier Game Boy Advance with the battery compartment. And that one is also tested and working nicely. So out of the Game Boy consoles, this is the only one that needs a speaker replacement. But the rest of them are tested and working. So got some controller stuff. This is a PS3 faceplate. Cincinnati Bengals still sealed. If anybody remembers when we used to do faceplates in the gaming community, um, I'd say that's probably worth about 15 bucks or so. So if you have a common Nintendo game that I need, I'd probably trade you. Uh, Super Nintendo controller. This one does have a little smutch right there, but if you have mint condition controllers and you need one just sort of an everyday controller that you don't mind beating up on, there's that one. I have uh, two GameCube mics. So there's those. Um, and then I have, I'll put this up for trade. It is the Halo Spartan 3 controller. Uh, very nice. I replaced the thumbsticks and put a replacement battery pack on the back. But uh, yeah, good to go there. Really nice controller. This isn't one I would like play with. I would probably put it up for display or put it away as part of my collection if I collected, you know, Xbox 360. But I have those controllers. If anybody's looking for anything specific, let me know. I've got some extra, you know, original Xbox controllers, some Wii nunchucks, you know, stuff like that. But um, that's the controller stuff. All right, so the next thing I'm bringing is this uh, At Games Sega Genesis. It does have uh, both of the controllers and the power cord, but all it takes is these uh, AV cables, the yellow, red, and white ones, which I'm sure I have somewhere, so I'll throw that in. But So that'll be complete, and this is the one that you can actually play, you know, Genesis cartridges on. So um, I don't know if anybody's looking for one of these, but um, yeah, the At Games Sega Genesis. All right, so I wanted to bring you a stack of just kind of common stuff in case people had common Super Nintendo or Nintendo games or PS4 games. You know, we could trade those. This is GoldenEye uh, 007 for the Wii. This is case, manual, and inserts only. So if anybody's looking for that, uh, Alice Madness Returns. This is uh, just the case. So if you need to complete your copy or maybe you have disc only and want the case, this would be a good... Uh, people ask like 25 bucks for this. I'm down to trade this for like Roger Rabbit on uh, Nintendo. You know what I mean? For something super common. Uh, Despicable Me on the Wii. Excite Truck. That one's missing the manual. Got a loose disc copy of the Greatest Hits Crash Bandicoot. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Skyrim. Uh, this is uh, PS2 Pinball Hall of Fame. This is the Gottlieb Collection. Uh, the more common one is the Williams Collection. I wouldn't say that this is rare, but this one is uh, one that you don't see quite as much as you see the Williams one. So that's cool. We got uh, Final Fantasy X, Blood Wake, Xbox, ex Xbox exclusive. A lot of people collecting uh, for the Xbox. Test Drive on PS2, Call of Duty Ghosts on uh, 360, Star Wars Masters of Terracasi in uh, a regular CD case. So if you want it in a PlayStation case, you know, so you can see the spine, but it's all there. Uh, Skyrim on the 360. I have uh, the history of Super Mario. This came with that Super Mario All-Stars thing, but got that. This is uh, Call of Duty 3 on uh, the Wii, and I also have the bonus disc that goes with that. Uh, Forza Motorsports, again, a common game, but one you don't really see a lot or pay attention to is the one with the Xbox Live Arcade. And you can still play some of those games, and they're kind of good. You know, they're that original set of Xbox Live games. So, uh, again, Xbox only. I've got uh, Mass Effect 2 and uh, Brothers in Arms on the Wii. 
So that's the stack of sort of common stuff that I'm bringing. Like I said, common, you kind of trade commons for commons. It just kind of depends on what people are collecting at the time, but there they are. A couple other odds and ends pieces. Uh, I got the manual for Shenmue. It's not in the great condition. You can see it's got some spine bending right there. And then it's obviously got a little wave to it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's water damage. It doesn't feel or look water damage. It's just not in super, super great condition. But if you need that to complete your Shenmue. And then this is really cool. This is the Square Enix Dragon Warrior 2 letter. Uh, so I don't really do RPGs. I've had this in the collection for a while. And nobody uh, seems to want it. So I will offer it up at the trade show. I feel like if you're a Dragon Warrior fan or you're an RPG fan or a Nintendo fan that does RPG stuff, this is one that you're going to want to have in your collection. So one of the big dogs that I'm bringing uh, this year is my complete box copy of Seaman. You can see that the microphone is still in the package and we have both of the inserts. So how about that? And uh, the box, I would say, is in serviceable condition. You can see it's got some nicks and dings on the uh, on the side let me see if I can get to get in there sort of that normal shelfware type stuff but uh, other than that everything else is uh, in really really nice condition so I went through my Game Boy stuff uh, started making some cuts some games I'm not gonna play don't need uh, first is Maru's mission on the Game Boy I brought, I'm bringing Mole Mania um, it, it's an okay game. It, you know, it's a puzzler. I played through it last year. It's one of those Shigeru Miyamoto games. It's pretty expensive for a Game Boy game. Uh, Magical Drop on the Game Boy Color. Nice condition. They all come with a, a case. I've got uh, Metabots AX. And I've got Earthworm Jim on the Game Boy Advance. And then uh, Lost Vikings. A series that I just can't get into. But it comes in the... Uh, the old DS refurbished case there with the printed cover art from coverproject.net. So next thing up, that's up for trade is uh, Fantasy Zone 2 Tears of Opa Opa on the Master System. It's complete, uh, pretty good condition, but, uh, you know, I just posted a playthrough of that. I'm not real sure if I want to keep this or not, you know. It's just not really a shooter that I like, but if you do trade for that, I made two pages of CM Retro notes on how to beat the level. So Pastoria, no secrets in level one. Get the normal engine. Get the big bombs. Grind to about 20K. Use the laser on the boss. <laughs> so you get my two pages of awesome handwritten notes that go in there. And, uh, you know, I can autograph those for you for free. With some disc-based disc stuff. The whole world's going Xbox 360 crazy right now. There's uh, Death Smiles. I showed that off in a video, so I'm not really going to show it off again. But it does have the CD and then the Black Label version. Here's some PlayStation 1 stuff I can live without. Uh, Dragon Seed. Don't know anything about it. We've got the Grinch. Warcraft 2. Diablo. And uh, Final Fantasy 8. And this one has uh, different discs. These are the black label copy disc because they have color to them but uh, all the discs are there it's missing the manual and the initial walkthrough the strategy guide or whatever is in there but uh, yeah bringing those so i've got a stack of super nintendo doubles uh mario world mario kart let's see if i can move this closer maybe a little bit better lighting uh mario kart i think this is my childhood copy but i already have one in the box uh, Mario World, I've got uh, Paperboy 2, F-Zero, Donkey Kong Country, Killer Instinct, and a uh, kind of ripped up copy of Mortal Kombat that I could just throw in, you know, as like an extra. So we've got those. Oh, I got another copy of Super Mario World. So I got two copies of Super Mario World. Um, and then sort of the big Super Nintendo games. I've got Mystical Ninja. Kind of a really nice label there. Except for that little nick right there. And of course, I've got a copy of Demon's Crest. So that's the Super Nintendo goodness that I'm bringing to the trade show. All right, so like I always do, I make a list of stuff that I'm sort of looking for. Uh, controllers, Nintendo 64, fun, fantastic. I need an ice blue, a fire orange. Always looking for another NES dog bone. 
These are the manuals that I need. Castlevania 4. I need a mint Super Mario Kart manual for Super Nintendo because I have a mint cart, a mint box, all that stuff. So I definitely need a mint condition controller. Uh, Karate Kid on the NES, Shadow of the Ninja on the NES, Wild Arms 2, Silver Load, and Brave Fencer Musashi on the PlayStation 1. These are those childhood NES games that I'm looking for. Uh, Casino Kid 2, Techno Cup Soccer, Dark Man. So that will round that out. Complete my childhood collection. Um, other games that I'm looking for, I should have Mega Man 5 on this list, probably up here. So if you have an extra copy of Mega Man 5, card only is good. Looking for Castlevania Dracula X, Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo, Super Spy Hunter, and Fantasy Zone on the NES. Fantasy Zone on the Master System, Complete and Box, Shinobi on the NES, Shinobi Master System, Complete and Box, Ninja Gaiden on the Master System, Complete in Box, uh, Cartridge Only is good, Castlevania Bloodlines on the Genesis, Super Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. I don't know why I don't have that game, but I don't have it. I've got uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo and then Street Fighter 2. I don't have Alpha or, uh, or Super Street Fighter 2, which apparently came with a couple extra characters. Battletoads, Battle Maniacs on Super Nintendo, Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga on the Game Boy Advance, and then I need a copy of Mario All-Stars on the Wii. Just the Mario All-Stars game case manual, the inserts. I don't need the whole big box and, uh, you know, the soundtrack or that history DVD. I just need this in the Wii case with the game and the manual, and I will complete mine. So that's sort of a... I'm always looking for common Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games. That aren't sports games so if you have those definitely bring those all right so that's just a little taste of what i'm bringing to the trade show um if you're looking for anything specific let me know like if you're looking for 360 games i know i've got the um the gears of war collector's editions complete you know the steel books with the the slip covers uh the genesis if you collect genesis i'm looking right now like i could I could definitely get rid of Predator, Shadow Dancer, Rocket Knight Adventures, you know. I can start pulling some of that for the second video that I'll do for this when we get closer. Um, you know, just let me know. PS2 controllers, original Xbox controllers, and uh, yeah. Anyway, if you want to make a response video of some of the stuff that you've pulled and you've put away for the trade show, that would be awesome. Also, if you check my eBay store and there's a game listed on my eBay store that you want, let me know. I can pull that off my eBay store and add it to the pile. But uh, like I said, if you want to post pictures on Facebook or on YouTube or make your own response video showing what you're bringing to the trade show, that would be awesome. That lets everybody know uh, what you've got and kind of what you're looking for. And uh, secondly, you know, we, we, we never not make any trades. Uh, we typically make quite a few trades. And even if we don't, you know, you hang out, talk about games and drink beer and do Q&A and hang out with the subscribers, which is always awesome. So yeah, Saturday, August 24th, 8 p.m. my channel. I'll probably start a little early and this thing usually goes for hours, like way into the wee early hours of the night. So if you can't make it until later, that's okay too. But uh, I will see everybody there and I look forward to seeing what you are bringing to the 2024 CM Retro Live video game trade show.